Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? I just am putting this in the beginning of the videos because I made a second channel called Sam Tuber. All you got to do is type in Sam Tuber to go and see it. This is going to be a variety channel where I'll be playing a bunch of different games. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, please go and subscribe. And I will be uploading multiple times per week. Don't worry, this will not affect the Smite content. That will be same as normal. I love you guys. Back to the video. Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? We're playing a Morgan Le Fay in a ranked 1v1, mainly because I haven't played her yet. And, um, well, I mean, like I said, I haven't played her yet for a video is what I meant. Um, I've played her a couple times in duel. Um, I think I've lost more than I've won. I've played her, I played her three times. I lost twice and won once. Uh, one of the losses was a DC, though, so, you know, take that how you will. Um, uh, my overall opinion of her is that she's not the greatest in duels. She's much better in conquest because of how much self peel she has. And she's more of a control mage than a burst mage. And, um, I think that leaves a lot more to be desired in terms of when you're playing her in duel, uh, because you can only control your opponent so much when it's a one-on-one -on -one and they can see your ability animations coming out and focus strictly on you. And it makes it a lot easier to jo dodge your stuff when you're, um, you know, when you're one-on-one. -on -one. So, I, again, I think she's okay. I don't think she's great. I don't think she's bad. Um, I think she's average. But, I spent let's go ahead and play and see if maybe my I'm wrong. They are not prepared. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe she's super OP. And all I needed was a little bit of extra gumption in my step. A little bit of extra little uh little help, you know what I mean? Mentality wise. Start off by going to this left thread. As always, nothing new here. Go ahead and plop this bad boy down. Then execute. If he's coming over here. You see him at blue, I think. He is at his blue. Okay. Cool. My buff is down. He's still working on his blue buff. Wonder what his build is if he's still working on his blue. Definitely not optimized. That's for certain. This character is super loud, by the way. So, uh... I apologize if I all of a sudden just start yelling at you. <laughs> all right. Very nice stuff so far. He uh he didn't start with mannequins or with any damage really, so that's why it took him so long to uh to clear. All right. And I'm just going to let him be right now. I'm not going to really focus on doing as much damage as I probably could. Or pushing him out or making him super awkward or something like that. I'm just going to... Just going to farm. Do my farm game right now. You've currently got three buffs to his one. Could do this here. I could actually kill here. Yeah. All right. So I uh, basically what I did there in order to get some really great burst damage on him was I used my one, but I only I already had the the sigil on him for my my uh, my fear stance of my one. So instead, I used the slow stance of my one for the extra sigil, and I made sure to hit him with my two to put that two sigil on him, and I hit him with my three to put that three sigil on him. So he had four sigils on him combined. Which is just going to give me so much burst damage. Um, especially when I rip off the sigils with my ult. So that's exactly what I did. And my burst very obviously worked. Because it was there's nothing he could do about it. And now... All I need to do, if I'm in a, if I'm in a fight and I'm desperate about it, I just use my 1. And I use the uh, 3 stance of my 1. And that'll proc my 5 sigil bonus. Which gives me 60 power, so... Or like, I think something like 60 power. 
So I will be good in the hood. I'm going to grab my Chronos Pendant immediately. I think the cooldown is going to be really nice. Um, what I've been doing when I play Morgan Le Fay, which I think is incorrect, is focusing mainly on damage. And I think what you should do is focus more on cooldown, which is why I'm starting the Chronos Pendant here, because I think she's more of a spam god than she is like a... Like a, I'm gonna hurt you type god, you know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Um, I think I'll proc my passive here. And then I'll ult. Yeah. Yeah, proccing that passive gives me 180 power. When my passive goes away, I'm at 125. So yeah, it gives me about... My passive gives me about, uh, 60... Or, yeah, 60 power. Magical power goes up per level. So, I think at max level, at level 20, it's 100 power. Right now, we're at we're at 60 or something like that. Around 60, you know? Not exactly 60, but around 60. Looks like he's got his Itch of All online. Just judging by the fact that he's backing here. Um, I do want to poke him a little bit and get some, some sigil effects on him here. I can. Nice. Sorry, right, I got two sigil effects on him. I just want it for my passive because you gain, you gain uh, power per passive or per sigil effect you have on him. Even if you don't proc all five. Wait, are you? Mm. All right. I actually don't know. Probably should back here. Staying. Oh my God. This character is so loud. So loud. But staying here is really greedy. I'm going to do it anyways. Fuck it. Um. Prepare, then execute. Taste the wicked blade. All right, I got a bunch of sigils on him again. Dude, I am doing a lot of damage right now. I guess to be fair though, like even though I am doing a lot of damage, I'm also three levels up at this point. All right, I do need to back. It's getting to the point where it's a little bit ridiculous that I haven't backed yet. Um, I'm just going to go Aegis here because I know how... Crazy it can get late game. I'm going to go Rod as well. Uh, actually, didn't I just talk about how important cooldown is? There's no real good cooldown item. I guess I could go Breastplate. That would be all my cooldown for the game. That wouldn't be bad, actually. I have blue buff on right now, so it would overcap me until my blue buff runs out, but my blue buff runs out really shortly. Trying to proc some sigils on him again. A nice triple sigil. And it's still kill. Dude. Oh my god. I didn't even rip the sigils off when I ulted, by the way. It, it was strictly... That that was strictly base damage on the ult. The 
Just kind of running around waiting for a uh, red buff right now. I guess he's going silver branch next. I don't know what else it could be. Oboe maybe. Open for clear if he needs it. That can't build into Oboe though. That has to be Ichival or Atalantis. Oh gosh. By the way, I see uh, comments all the time of people like shitting on my enemies because they're not playing the level I play at. But what you guys have to understand is first off, matchmaking in duel is very bad. Just in general. It's um it's not optimized. So I'm fighting people that probably aren't at the same level as me, just in general. Um, but also, a lot of the time, I am fighting actual diamond players or uh, or masters level players. But you know, the it's like the difference in chess. You know, the difference between a national master and an international master is the same difference between a low tier GM and a high tier GM. You know what I mean? Or um, or the sense of like the international master to GM the same difference is like a normal master to a GM. You know what I mean? So like even though our ranks are close there's a very big difference in skill gap even if I'm fighting people in masters or GM. You know what I mean? And that's not to like I'm not saying this to stroke my ego like oh my god I'm so better than other GMs but I'm just like, I've been playing this game for so long that you start to recognize when there's a significant skill gap between between certain ranks or something. You know what I mean? And like, um, like the, and the, and then also even as a high tier GM, right? Like, which I do consider myself people like Pringles and Jesse they're even bigger than high tier GMs. They're like super GMs in chess. You know what I mean? They're like, they're up there. So all of this stuff I'm saying is just to kind of like, I guess reiterate the point where, yes, I do think this player in particular is probably, um, you know, if I'm honest in gold or lower, but, uh, and that's not an insult. I don't mean that as an insult. I just mean that, like, if I'm being honest, like, if I if I am genuinely thinking or genuinely saying what I think he, his rank really is, I think it's probably gold or lower. But, um... But the point of saying all this is just that I, I don't like it when I hear you guys talk about, uh... Talk about how bad my enemies are because you don't you don't know you know a lot of times you don't know what their rank is or what their uh their gods your they normally play are or anything like that but regardless of that i just you know my main point of saying all this is don't be mean you know, like, there's there's no point in being like, like, because I see comments all the time, like, wow, so people think Sam's good, but he's actually garbage at this game. Uh, all he does is upload videos against bronze players, which I know this kind of, like, proves their point. But um, I was all, I've also been number one in the world, like, five different times in five different seasons, you know? And I've also held number one in the world for... You know, months at a time. And, uh... So it's clearly not a fluke that I'm, you know, a high-level GM. And if you want to say I'm bad at the game, that's fine, right? Like, I'm not going to be like... Here's all my accolades, like I just did. <laughs> but, uh... I'm not going to defend myself against those comments, because I don't really care. But... I think, um... And when I say I'm not going to defend myself, I know I literally just defended myself. But what I meant when I said that I'm not going to defend myself is I'm not going to 
Like, every time I see a comment, I'm not going to go and comment back and be like, actually, I'm this good at this video game. Obviously, I'll say it every once in a while because I, you know, it helps my ego. But, um... But, yeah, I just think... Whenever I see comments like that and I'm like, ah, oh, man, if only you knew. If only you knew the half of it, you know what I mean? Oh, he lived. Oh, hello. All right. Cool. I feel like my damage is so bad on Titan. Like, I use it on the enemy, and I'm like, wow, I'm so strong. And then I use my damage on the Titan. I'm like, wow, I could not be weaker. <laughs> All right. That's game. That's game. GG. I hope you guys saw a little bit of uh of Morgan's power. You can tell even even you know eight no and like five levels ahead. Um six levels ahead at one point actually. Even with this gigantic lead, um you can tell that her numbers are pretty small in comparison to other burst mages. Like if you had that same lead on like an Agni or a Hebo or Poseidon or something like you would do so much more damage you can tell she's a control mage I hope that you know my talking didn't annoy you guys because I know I did talk a lot during this video about things that weren't necessarily in the video but um if you did enjoy the video please like comment and subscribe and um until next time guys peace